Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining the Holy Ark. And we're back here in Far East Village. We've got the sword, so we need to talk to the chief. But first, we want to look in the bushes, because someone left a pair of shoes in the bushes. The turbo boots. I don't know if I could get these beforehand or not. Um, I honestly have not been paying enough attention to the village section of this guide. So, yeah, that's a thing that I'm not, I'm not paying attention to. So, uh, we have uh, Turbo Boots, which raise your agility by 10. So, 82 to 92, 71 to 81, 89 to 99, 69 to 79. So, really, Melody is the best pick for it. And I could give her the, uh, the, uh, the haste ring back. Uh, which we are actually going to unequip from Basso. We are going to unequip the Royal Crest. We are going to unequip the Haste Ring. Now, why am I doing this, he asks? Well, simple. We're going to be getting a new party member who is going to be at a major disadvantage. I don't even know if they can use the Royal Crest, but just on the off chance. Um... I don't even know... How much does the uh, the haste ring increase haste by? By a lot. 109. That Both of those would bring Melody up to about where she needs to be agility-wise. Um, but we are going to save those. Uh, we're going to put them on Melody, but we're not going to equip them. Uh... No, we're, we're not going to equip them. And again, I don't know if this can be used or not. I don't think it can. If not, we'll just give it back to Basso. Alright, so we go in here into the Chief's Hut because we needed to talk to the Chief when we got the sword back. So let's go talk to him and tell him, Hey, look, we recovered a sword. It's magic. You found the sacred sword. Good work. Good for you. You did it. That's, that's, the, that's the feeling I get from him at the moment. And somehow Relix knows we have the sword because she's got spies just like the ninjas have spies. I don't I don't pretend to understand. Castle gates are sealed, so we can't get in through the castle gate. So we're gonna have to go underneath Enric dungeon again, uh, in the the Enric sewers where we were before. So And he summons Doyle, but Doyle kind of just falls out of the sky. And obviously with the music, something bad's happening. And he throws a knife, and there's... Panzer. This is the gentleman we saw in the opening movie, with his fabulous purple hair and green skin. Apparently he's joined Relix, but he was raised by the ninjas. I've done enough for you already. I've done everything according to the village law, and I've mastered all of your techniques. Well, enough to do this. Okay, so... This guy, major chip on his shoulders for absolutely no reason. So... He just, he's obsessed with being the strongest, being the best. And I don't, I don't understand. Like... He's like, why don't the ninjas take over when obviously they are stronger than everyone else? Well, let's let's really take a second to, to analyze this. Yeah, the ninjas are strong, but there's only a handful of them versus an entire kingdom. How many soldiers does the kingdom have in it? And how many people could a, a ninja, in theory, take out before just being overwhelmed? I mean, it's a, it's a numbers game. However, the, the lord of the village is like, yeah, we could beat everyone in a fight, but then what? Like, fighting doesn't keep people alive. You and Rhodey. But you must give me the sacred sword. Uh, no. No. I'm not, I'm not giving you my magic new sword. I like it. Or maybe it's because of what you really are. Do you think the blood that... Do you think it's the blood that runs through my veins that makes me do this? Alright, so obviously he's not human. I mean, green skin, red eyes, purple hairstyle. Uh, 
Oh, I mean, I've got blue in my hair, so that's that's one thing. Uh, he's obviously not human, and he has a considerable amount of power because he's he's charging his laser. However, someone else joins the fight, and her name is Akane or Akane. That's I got a lot of crap for my pronunciation. That it's uh, you're you're saying it too literally. W welcome to the English language. <laughs> we we have the crappiest language on the planet, especially American English. It's just ridiculous. But some people it should be pronounced Akane, Akane, and I look at it, it's like Akane, like the, there's the. the in, in text format, uh, it's about the same. So, so yeah, I'm I'm going to end up calling her Kane, and yeah, that's just yeah, we're gonna go. So, uh, her and Panzer have some sort of history together, and of course Panzer's like, I'm not gonna do anything because you know our history, I. Obviously, I'm very taken by you, so... Even though he knows he could defeat her, he would really rather not. However, he beat the crap out of Doyle. He surprised me with his superior strength. I know how you feel. So, Panzer used to be a member of the village. Not anymore. And your mission, did things go wrong? Uh, what was your mission? The road from the well to the throne room is still open. Alright, so... He sent her to find out... How to get to the throne room. So... Enter the hidden route from the well and proceed along the waterway in the nor northeast direction until you get to a wooden pier. I believe it will be better... Uh, harder for Panzer to attack us if I'm part of the group. Uh, well... He is madly in love with you, so that's that's true. And I cannot pronounce what she is. Kunochi? Kunoichi? Uh, female ninja is what it, it basically translates to. And that is her, uh, her class as well. So, really, all in all, she is roadie. Uh, she's got very similar power attacks. Her spells, on the other hand, uh, mimic melody instead. So, uh, she's got... Oh, oh, I was going to say, can I, can I see hers, even though she's not in the party? Uh, so she has healing, antidote, and weasel slash, which is hellblast. So, pretty much the same stuff that melody has. Except melody has heal 2, uh, hellblast 3, and antidote 2, so... But also, if we look at her stats, she's level 14 unpromoted. So that means she is five levels below Basso. So if we're getting people at the level they're supposed to be, rather than what level they we actually end up having them at, we should be about level 14 unpromoted at this point, if, if following the game. Alright, so we're actually going to switch her in so that we can level her up, because she is... Uh, just exceptionally useful. Uh, just beyond useful. Uh, especially uh, in the late game. Because like I said, all of her power attacks are really useful. The spell she gets later on, really useful. And like Rhodey, she uses katanas, which there is a katana that is dropped by an enemy in this game that can one-shot kill, much like Slate's uh, Gesarme from Shining Force 2 just instantly kills enemies uh, without too much trouble. Uh, it does not work on bosses, but it it is worthwhile. Alright, so we are going to sell some stuff. We do not need the Magic Matic anymore, because that was only for that dungeon. And we do not need the sword anymore, so we're going to sell that. And 
Is there anything else that needs to be sold? We don't need the gravity stone anymore. So we're going to sell all the stuff we really don't need. Like we don't need uh, the stone key. And I'm going to just go ahead and give uh, a cane the stuff that Basso has. Do you have anything new? Um, let's see, since I'm already on this menu... No, she can't use the crest, so that's only Basso at the moment. So, uh, I can give that back to him. And there's nothing else that sh I can get, so, okay. And I don't know if there are any other haggles that show up. Uh, and there's really nothing else that I can buy. Uh, just the rope. Okay, so yeah, I, I didn't expect. There's nothing I can buy for a cane that would actually be beneficial at the moment. But we can give her... We could give her the haste ring. Actually, I think... Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Equip the haste ring on Melody. Well, unequip the boots. Equip the haste ring. And then we'll give the boots and the life ring to a cane. Because she's got slightly... She's got less HP than everyone else. So... And she's got less defense than everyone else. So having a little bit of extra... You know... A little bit extra boost might be worthwhile. You can also use the Turbo Boots, I believe they cast uh, Support 1, I think. Oh, I also need to give uh, all of Basso's stuff to her. So, give the Elixir, give the Potion, give the other Potion, third Potion, Last potion. Goddess tier, which we just got. Um, I'm actually going to give to Melody. Uh, that restores 100 HP, or 100 MP, excuse me. And uh, we get so few of them that it's not really worth uh, hoard. It's worth hoarding them. It's not worth using them at any given moment. All right, I was told to cast Suppress and then go onto the world map. And I forgot that this was a thing. So we're going to show this off. Because we need to go back through the, the mountain cave to get back to Enric. So I'm probably going to cut that. But I wanted to show this. This Look at this. How trippy is that? I, it makes me wonder if there was at one point a ability or a, the possibility of getting into fights on the world map. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut here and we will skip to when we hit the uh, the world map on the other side because if I cast uh, return here it takes me back to the entrance that I came into so I have to work my way back through the, the cave so uh, give me just one second and uh, see you guys on the other side and we're back so we are on the other side of the mountain cave got into no fights I, I guess once you are high enough level for a certain place it, it just drastically reduces the amount of random encounters which kind of sucks because we do kind of need to level up uh, a cane, so. And we've already talked about this. This little boy here. You must be mercenaries. You sure look strong. I sort of need your help. If I pay you... Yeah, I pass. Would you please find my dad? He went to the mansion. If you bring him back... So we've already talked about this. We've already been in the mansion. We didn't see the kid's dad there. Kid's dad's dead. Which is just dark. It really is. It's sad and dark. But that little kid becomes... A major character for the rest of the Shining series. He he is the rest of the Shining series. Uh, so uh, we will see more of him in all three parts of Shining Force Three. And uh, his I love that his look is modeled after the the people we see here in Holy Ark. Uh, th that's what I miss about the series is its connections to itself like that. 
Uh, move along the waterway in a northeast direction, find a wooden pier, and go to the end of it. Then I will call for the hidden boat there. Alright, so we need to go... basically... to the, the pier that we can see over there. So I need to... Alright, I see where I need to go. So we just get to run. And this is really it. We just get to walk around. Hey, look! An enemy! I don't think he's going to survive long enough to see our newest party member. So, uh, I'm gonna attack, attack, defend, and attack, and see if she will show up, or if... There we go! We get to see her! So... Her, apparently, her agility is fast enough. The rest of her stats, however, are just completely terrible. So, we do need to, uh, level her up. And probably should have saved the power apple for her, or the brave apple, but... Yeah. Alright, so hey, we're gonna get another fight! And, again, these fights are so simple, there's really no point cutting them out. So, we'll just attack and have that be the end of it. Melody actually putting forth a decent amount of damage. And, not that it matters, because again, in 105 points of damage from Arthur. Arthur... Oh, that's right, he has the sword now. And Melody levels up. Raise magic mastered, so now we can bring people back from the dead. Alright, so we need to find a wooden pier. It's this one, right over here, right behind the ice siren. We can see it right there on the right. That's that's the pier. So let's just beat the crap out of the ice siren, because I really don't think it's going to put up too much of a fight, given how many levels we've put on ourselves between the last time we were here and now. And I got a potion, so yay. So this is it. Alright, so we find the pier. This is the place. I'll perform this ceremony to summon the boat. So ninjas have magic to summon boats. Actually, not a bad power, mind you. That's not... Not a bad thing to have. Like, if you could summon a form of transportation at any time... I'd be okay with that. You never have to worry about hailing a taxi? Or, or you know, worry about... Uh, an Uber driver or anything like that. Just, you know. We have no control over this. Like, I'm, I'm sitting here frantically pressing on the D-pad. This just takes us to where we need to go. So, we have zero control. And you'd think we hit a wall, but no, apparently this is a... another pathway. So, we can... explore a new part of the dungeon. And we kind of have to, because we don't have a boat anymore. So, alright. So this place is actually pretty big. And it's the one on top here. Yeah, we press, we press the wall, and it'll slide up and open up another passageway for us, which will have a treasure for us. Arthur, open the treasure chest. And we get a pixie, and this is an incubus. Incubus named Aster. So, yay, more pixies. Uh, and hey, there's actually going to be another uh, treasure here that might be worthwhile for us. So, especially since I'm, I'm really disappointed that promotions do nothing in this game. That is just so obnoxious, isn't it? I think that's just so obnoxious. Alright, let's see, where does that take us? That takes us to where we want to go. But there is a single treasure up at the top. So we are going to stick onto this side. And... Damn it. Alright, um, I'm gonna have to cut this because the... Well, I'll leave this in because this will be the last thing we do. Uh, coin Beast going to suck, because we have one person who it's probably just going to drop like a bad habit, but she has offensive magic, so it's not terrible, 
she will do more damage to these things than Basso would, because Basso can only do a single point of damage by meleeing it, whereas she has magic. So anything more than one point of damage against these guys, that's that's better than Basso. Melee attacks, however, she is going to uh, she is going to suffer just a little bit. And I may do some power leveling off screen to get her a little bit closer to level because let's face it, she's uh, uh yeah she's not in the best state. So uh, I'm gonna heal and. Uh, I actually need to end this episode here, because we are about out of time. So uh, I will see you guys in the next installment, where we will continue exploring the section of the catacombs. So until uh, then, later everyone.